to me that we have many solutions to the crisis already. There have been some fantastic suggestions at this, at this event. Um, but it's politics that is blocking those from being articulated and implemented. Most of all the young uh, doesn't really care about uh, political parties or stuff like that because political parties doesn't care about young. Crisis in the European Union, all these factions uh, and, and, and fractures in capitalism, that's something that young people nowadays experience every day in their lives. So I think if you can tap into that and make sure that you, you transform and translate that into political activity, I think that can be potentially very, very powerful. The problems that youth organizations are facing with are mostly because youth are not, don't feel motivated enough uh, for all kinds of or forms of participation because they even don't have, we don't have feeling that we can influence on something and the voice of the youth is not taken into account. When I talk about precarity, Spanish young people and Italian and Greek young people and, and, and you know, Portugal, uh, they all know what I'm talking about. What you should be doing or what, what ideally would happen is you would take young people or the young generation in Scandinavia and Germany and the Netherlands, kind of take them by the shoulders and give them a big shake and say, look what's going to happen in one or two decades, if you don't start organizing, if you don't wake up politically, um, because we already see growth slowing down in Germany. En ce qui concerne les politiques mises en place actuellement, bah les politiques mises en place actuellement, c'est des politiques de rigueur. Et les politiques de rigueur, à partir du moment où on fait des coupes budgétaires, et ben ces coupes budgétaires, elles touchent, euh, euh, elles touchent les citoyens et elles vont toucher les jeunes en priorité parce que ce sont eux qui vont rentrer sur le marché du travail. Noi crediamo che la ricetta per uscire da questa situazione di crisi sia quella di smetterla con l'austerity, con le politiche di austerity in Europa e anche in Italia. Abbandonare l'austerity a tutti i costi, perché eh, non è eh, la soluzione e abbiamo visto che non è la soluzione ma si continua verso questa, questa traiettoria. So I think organizations a form of trade union at the end of the day, a form of unionization of precarious workers is absolutely essential in, at a national and international level um, that should hopefully be able to be in dialogue with existing left structures uh, like Syriza in Greece or uh, the Partito Democratico in Italy um, to put pressure on these groups to provide a politics at a European level, a kind of perhaps beginning from the south that will uh, you know, challenge the northern-based uh, prejudices involved in the decision-making processes that affect all of us. A problem at the moment in the European Union is that um, we have only like a currency union but um, and a trade union but no social union. I think we need a social union. So we need um, the tax um, competition to end, so equal taxes, equal income taxes, equal uh, company taxes all over Europe so the companies uh, don't have to go for example to Ireland and um, yeah, um, have low taxes there and then have other um, parts of their company in other countries and stuff like this. Perché per noi l'Unione Europea dovrebbe darsi un nuovo mandato proprio in termini costituzionali che possa modificare radicalmente sia i processi decisionali e renderli più democratici e in modo tale che ci possa essere un impatto diretto della, delle popolazioni europee su quelle che sono le scelte dell'Unione Europea dando maggiore centralità al Parlamento piuttosto che alla Commissione non solo ma anche alimentando dei processi di democrazia diretta più partecipata e anche eh, darsi delle, un, creare un cosiddetto no, nuovo patto sociale per l'Europa che possa dare priori, nuove priorità sociali, un nuovo mandato su priorità sociale all'Unione Europea mettendo in secondo piano l'Unione Monetaria, l'Unione Finanziaria e provando invece a puntare su eh, quelli che sono gli obiettivi sociali. So I think we need to find in the middle the social economy, the cooperatives where they have internal democratic processes where uh, profits are distributed among its members, but also social enterprises which can still make a profit, they can still um, have shareholders who uh, take a fair share, but it cannot be the only focus. Les, les politiques qui en découleraient seraient, euh, seraient plus du coup des on serait plus dans une dans une société individualiste mais dans une société qui euh, qui promeut la coopération. 
when we include all those external costs and then um, create really good work like um, yeah in 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 services yeah in social services I think then it is also possible to have um, another economic system which is sustainable and which can also like include people who are um, now excluded of the society. La combinación de dejar de oprimir a la madre tierra y de dejar de oprimir a las mujeres como, como su clase en las sociedades capitalistas quedando invisibilizadas nos, nos requiere una salida creativa que es buscar, combinar políticas públicas pero orientadas a nuevos sectores que satisfagan bienestar y que creen empleos decentes pero esto es muy importante que se dé en un marco más amplio de reparto de todo lo que son las actividades de cuidados y de las actividades comunitarias y de búsqueda de una transición hacia una economía no capitalista, hacia una economía sostenible en el plano ecológico. No es que sería bello, partiendo de esta iniciativa, crear una red europea de organizaciones que se ocupan de precariedad y de jóvenes y de políticas europeas para mejorar el estilo de vida, la vida de los jóvenes y para disminuir la precariedad. Young take their responsibility and do what they want, do what they like, and have fun for what they fight for.